Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're taking a look at Sonic's Shoes Blues. We're also taking a trip down memory lane for me, because this is super, super nostalgic for me. This is a piece of my gaming history to the utmost importance, because this is the first piece of video game anything I ever saw. And I would like to thank, personally, my cousin Sherry, on my dad's side, because when I was very young, before I even had my NES, so before I was even introduced to Super Mario Bros., she read this book to me. And she's probably forgotten it by then, but I remember very specifically sitting with her and reading Sonic's Shoes Blues. I didn't know the title, because I didn't remember the title, but I remember the book. So, this is a very important memory for me. Now, this is modeled after Sonic the Hedgehog. It's supposed to be like connected to the original Sonic the Hedgehog game, the Genesis game. However, it uses the characters from Sonic Sat AM, and it has some kind of a goofiness of the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So this is a lot of elements from a lot of different Sonic mythos, and it is actually a golden book, and not a little golden book. A lot of people are familiar with the little golden books, which are like uh, my uh, pokey little puppy, and a lot, a lot of older books with the, the golden spines. Gold, these, this version of Golden Books is actually a completely different book series, which has some video game characters. This is another Sonic one of this, and let me see if I can reach it. Ugh, there's actually another Sonic book that I got when I ordered this off eBay. And this is Sonic 2, this one based off Sonic the Adventure, or Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And they even had some Mario ones too, so it's a cool little series. And I'm going to take you through it. I'm not going to read the, there's actually, it's, it's pretty text heavy for one of these books, but I'm going to take you through the art and read you a rough synopsis of what's going on, just because, and it's a review, I, it's just sort of-ish, I don't know what it is, it's something, it's a video, so enjoy. So we start off in Mobius, which is the land where the Sonic Sat AM universe takes place, and it, it very quickly describes what Mobius used to be like, this happy, pretty wildlife, very Disney-esque place, and suddenly it's this this polluted kind of place. And I love that they have the robot putting in that, that signpost, no fun allowed. This, <laughs> I'm very, wait, wait, what's over here? Merry makers will be arrested. <laughs> I love, I love this. I still love it. I, I loved it for different reasons when I was a child, but I love it now because this is so, it's just funny. Merry makers will be arrested. I'm very happy with that. And then we're introduced to our cast of characters, and uh, I don't know all their names. I, uh, uh, Sonic, um, uh, Sonic, Sonic, no, I'm kidding. Uh, Sonic, Antoine, Tails, I believe Princess Sally, and I don't remember the walrus's name. And we start off, Sonic is getting ready for his usual day-to-day, -day giving uh, Dr. Robotnik, as he was known at the time, a uh, rough time. This is him speeding through all of his stuff, and I think there was a... Easter egg here somewhere. I like how the, up in the other the they're all first place or fastest. And he's just getting ready. And then he goes up to Sally and he's, he's like, oh, you don't have shoes. Major problem. Sonic without his shoes is a bad thing. Uh, I, I, believe me, I've been told by Sonic fans that without his shoes, Sonic has a lot of problems. And there's, ooh, you can see he's got a Sega Genesis here. And if you look closely, you can see it actually says Sonic 2 on the bottom book. So this, you heard it here first, folks. There's going to be a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for Sega Genesis, so be prepared for that. And he goes through all of his things and goes through all the... Just briefly, I'll just show you. <laughs> it's pretty easy to pick up on what's going on here. And, ooh, we got a nice Sega shirt. Kind of cool there. Then he thinks that people, his friends stole it. And there's him accusing all of his friends. Then he turns off the lights, and that classic move, they, like someone should return it then. Then they say, you know what, screw you, Sonic. We're gonna, we're gonna roll out. And that's what the note says, roughly. It doesn't say screw you, but it says something to that effect. And then you've got his friends trying to take out Robotnik and being captured, which kind of begs the question, how ineffectual are Sonic's friends that they they can't manage this task without it? Without Sonic, they get trapped immediately. Just completely no no big deal. And they're using what looks like a big piece of cheese, but I, I, I'm just going to keep thinking it's a big piece of cheese. But Sonic, even without shoes, comes to the rescue and helps them out. He gives them little thank you gifts, which don't 
helps come into play with the story, except the one he gives Antoine. Antoine gives Antoine a pair of scissors, which he uses to cut the net. And go through this one. Oh, by the way, fun fact, this guy, he's called, where is, he, where is, where is it? A caterkiller. Fantastic. This is, he's a caterkiller. Cause get it? Caterpillar. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun little book. And we're back to, he beats Romanic somehow. I f he plugs up some factory thing. And finally he goes back home. He cleans his room and he finds his shoes. And there's sort of a, a line where he's like, Sally is, is insinuates that he has a crush on her. And he's like, oh no, I'm, I'm too cool for that. And then we're, then we're done. We've got a happy ending with Sonic the Hedgehog in Sonic's Shoes Blues. And really cool piece. Of, just really happy to find it. Um, I just remember, like, I thought one day, like, I remember that book. Wait a second. I read that book before I had my NES. So this is my first little gaming memory. So, um... Maybe, maybe uh, Sherry will see this. If so, thank you for reading to this to me as a kid. I know you probably don't remember it, but it stuck with me. So, And as always, later days.